Hello parents, this is Mr. Surface. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, right now we have this opportunity to address something together. All members of a learning team are fallible and imperfect. Uh, I know that for sure for myself, but together we are stronger and smarter. So let's get into some specifics together to make school a great place to learn for your student. Please go get your student right now or call them down to watch us on the phone or the iPad or the computer together please watch this video with your student and thank you for getting them. All right, so what you see here is a picture of Mr. Surface and the do now that students begin every day. So when you look at your student's notebook uh, or you can ask them to bring it home tomorrow, um, you should see something like this, And but you'll see the correction in it. Every single class starts the same way and it starts with the color red. Whenever your student sees something red, they should write it down. That is a, a requirement and, and it's something that that they can do so long as I have had students who've, who've been colorblind in the past. And if that's the case, I, I hope they would have let me know already. But if not, now's a great time. Uh, right here is uh, Dr. Barbara Oakley's middle school friendly learning how to learn a guide for kids and teens. And I should add that this is a great resource for their teachers and parents too. Here, Dr. Oakley observes that we activate important neurons, brain cells through the act of writing. We want your student to learn, therefore we want your student to write daily, every day. Um, this is uh, why I have your student physically write things instead of just typing them or saving them. Um, it is important that they write. It is uh, neuroscientifically important that they do so. So they would get their notebooks at the beginning of every class and they would write down with a pencil what they see in red. So it might look a little something like this. Here's the do now from the first slide. Um, your student begins class every day by writing down the red and looking for that mistake, oftentimes in the underlined portion. Hint, it needs a comma after the word world. More importantly, sentence stems, which are all, always in red, are partially written sentences intended to help assist your student and their thinking. It takes the pressure off of the student to generate the conversation, to generate the initial thinking. And it also allows them to approach their learning with more confidence. Furthermore, when a student has this already written, it provides a very concrete, a very specific way for the teacher to assist them with the writing activity. Um, you can take a moment. This is also by Dr. Barbara uh, Oakley et al. Um, this is a little bit more for teachers. I would suggest the other title. So for example, these are some sentence uh, stems um, and this is what oftentimes what they look like in, in your child's classroom. Um, it's a way to flesh out, uh, we're going to flesh out these sentence stems real quick together to, see, uh, to talk about the crucial role they play in your students learning. If I write down the red sentence stem, comma, then when Mr. Surface or whoever the teacher is that day happens to come over, they have something concrete. They could say, oh, if I write down the red sentence stem, well, what's a stem? Uh, usually a stem is a plant, Mr. Surface. Uh, now, oh, so it, it flowers later. It needs time. You need time to think. It needs sunlight and rain, right? So your thinking is the same way, right? We have the stem, but we're looking for your thinking to blossom. So when it comes to metaphorical thinking, um, it's, it's crucial that we already have it written down so we can circle it. And your visual, if your student is a more of a visual learner, we can help them with that too. If my student is not writing the sentence stem, right, what could they be doing instead? Uh, they might have their head down. Perhaps they're having frequent headaches and not telling anyone, right? If my student is not writing the sentence stem, what else might they be doing? They might be distracted or be uh, distracting someone else is of course that's the last thing anyone wants we want them learning in school so what can we do as as um, individuals on your students learning team in an effort to give my student a chance to improve their thinking and performance comma oops <laughs> i will check their notebook uh twice a week or i will check their notebook on fridays to see um how how it's going all right Together, we are stronger and smarter. Whatever today or yesterday brought, we can bring about a better day tomorrow. Right here at school, first thing, we can do it. Please reach out by returning this text or emailing if you have any observations, questions, or ideas for tomorrow.
or even tonight if you're receiving this in time to, to give me some feedback that might be useful. All right, hoping all is well. Thank you again for your support, and uh, please do uh, have a great evening, morning, afternoon, or weekend. So long.